In this video, I'm going to show you how to determine the number of significant figures in a number. So you follow these rules. The first significant figure is the non-zero digit furthest to the left. So that's number one. And you just start counting to the right. Now ask yourself the question, is there a decimal in your number? If there is, count to the end of the number. And if not, then count to the last non-zero digit. That's it. So let's see that in action. So here I have seven point, that's supposed to be a point there, seven point four three zero. Go to the furthest to the left, that's here, count to the right, there is a decimal, which means I count to the end, one, two, three, four. That has four significant figures. How about zero point seven four three? The non-zero furthest to the left is seven in this case. There is a decimal, count to the end, one, two, three. This has three significant digits. Here, the furthest to the left is again the seven. This one doesn't have a decimal point, which means I only count to the last non-zero digit which is one, two, three, which is three is the last non-zero digit. So this has three significant figures. Seven, four, this, this doesn't have a decimal point either. However, three is the last one, so I go to seven. There's one, two, three, four, so this has four. So I count the zeros if they're, if they're within these rules. The next one, I go all the way to the non-zero to the left, which is here, count to the end. One, two, three, four, five. I count all the way to the end because there is a decimal point. So this has five. The non-zero furthest to the left is seven. One, two, three, four, five. Count to the end because there's a decimal place. And now the furthest to the left is this seven. And I count to the end, which is three. In scientific notation, you have a number and then an exponent. The number is called the mantissa times 10 to some exponent. And in scientific notation, the number of significant figures is always the number of digits in the mantissa. Well, if we should just sort of rewrite these, I would, well, we wouldn't really write the first one in scientific notation, but if you were, that'd be 7.430 times 10 to the 0. The next one would be a 7.43 times 10 to the minus 1. 0.743 in scientific notation, so you see three significant figures. 7.43 uh, times 10 to the 3. So here, we this 0 would not be part of the number, would not be part of the mantissa written in scientific notation. So the next one, I have 7.043 times 10 to the 3. I need all four numbers there. And now I have 7.4 four, three, zero, zero, I need all of them for this one, times 10 to the three. And now 7.4300 zero, zero, times 10 to the minus one, again, I need all of those numbers in the mantissa because they're all significant. And finally, this one would be 7.43 times 10 to the minus three, one, two, three. So again, in scientific notation here, the mantissa has all of the significant digits.